Nanu Nanu, hello and welcome back to Stone Block 3, Episode 2. How are you all doing? Hope you're all well. So I've done a little bit, and I mean a little bit of bits and pieces behind the scenes. Um, got some cactus. Oh, oh, got some more cactus. Hold on. So I've actually uh, turned my tick speed up just to speed this up a bit. For those of you that are wondering, if you go into your quest book and then go into utilities and then settings, you can see here tick speed. And yeah, I've set it at 10 um, just because I'm impatient. Uh, yeah, <laughs> as, as simple as that, I'm impatient. But yes, we do need some cactus because the next quest in our getting started is getting water. So we need a squeezer. We need to put the cactus in the squeezer and then collect it in, squeeze the cactus into a tank and then collect it in a water bucket. And yeah, I, I think that might have made sense. So let's have a look then. The squeezer. Oh, blimey. Um, okay. I have got some iron cooking. Is it enough? I think it might be. Um, so yeah, I've done a couple of stacks of gravel through this. Um, let's see. I, it just dawned on me, did that tree do something with that uh, crank there? But no, it hasn't. Anyway, right. So one block of iron. Yes, please. And some nuggies. We also need a hopper. Oh, we haven't got enough, have we? Hopper and some sticks. Oh, I forgot about that though. Hold up. Wait a minute. Uh, let's grab some wood. Do that. So we need a chest and some sticks. We already had sticks. Never mind. And then one hopper. Like so. One squeezer. Like so. And then the next thing we need is some glass that I've already prepared. I've got a horrid feeling though. I need to... Do I need more iron for this? I do, but I've got it. Right. Squeezer. Tank. Got. I'm pretty sure I've got a bucket. I have, but it's a lava bucket. Um, let's place that over here for now. That should be all right. As long as Mr. Spider stays away from it. And then we should be able to now pop that down. So whenever you're, you guys are using this, if I remember correctly, we need to... Have a look for these little channels here. So there's one here and there's one at the back. We need to make sure that the tank is facing one of those channels. And then we can put in our cactus, punch it a few times, and you can see that that has squeezed the water into the tank. Now, what we need to do to reset this is give it a redstone signal. So there we go. One button will do. Let's do that again. And I'm not... Oh, okay, it's only two. I was going to say I'm not sure how many we need to do. But yes, it is just two. So we have now got a bucket of water. So let's claim that reward. Um, the next thing we need to do is the dripper drips fluid onto the block below in order to turn it into other blocks. See the wiki book for what blocks it can... See the wiki book for what blocks it can convert. Ah, oh, words, struggling. Right, so make a dripper. So what do we need for, not a cripper, <laughs> a dripper, there we go. Um, okay, so our bucket of water that we've just made, some glass. Okay, now, it so happens, for some reason I've got two. Oh, was that the reward? Maybe that was the reward. Random rewards, you never know what you're going to get. So what I'm going to do is, before I commit one of these buckets of water to the dripper... There we go. Infinite source set up and done. Um, and we can, in fact, make this straight off the bat. Boom. There we go. Now, the dripper was a block in brimstone, if I remember rightly. It was, uh, yeah, it was, it was a thing in there. So let's see if I can't remember what this does. I think, if I remember rightly, can't we drip it onto dust? It's actually... Oh, I think we can actually use compressed as well. Let's see if this still works. So, if my if my memory serves me correctly, we can put that there. I feel like that might need to be higher up, but we'll give it a go. And then, yeah, if I remember rightly, 
dust, when it has water dripped onto it, it will turn into clay. My only concern here is, have I done that too low? Do you know what? Let's, let's move it up anyway. Um, let's pop that down. Throw that there. Let's go and refill our bucket. Thank you. And we'll throw that in there. And yeah, I'm 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 99% sure that this was a thing. I'm also trying to remember now what other blocks. Now it does mention that it's going to be in the wiki book, but I've got a slightly early version of the pack, and it doesn't actually show anywhere what blocks convert into what. So yeah. <laughs> um Learning with Cyan. I'm going to nab some of this just in case we need it again. We probably won't know saying that. So I think I might even... Do you know what? Let's plant them. And the next time I harvest them, we'll get rid of them. Right. We are running out of room in here though, aren't we? Look at this. What a mess. Okay. So. Quests. Now, before I go back to getting started, I did mention last time... I think it was in technology. Yes, it wants me to craft a harvester. Now, the harvester needed something. Um, and it's behind a wall. Oh, yes, it needs some hose, doesn't it? Yes, iron hose. Now, the iron hose we need to get into smelters a little bit more for. Um, so we can't actually make those yet. There was something else I saw as well. So, yes... The smelting we need to get into so it says here it's time to create some basic smelters tables so we've already done this as part of the getting started so i'm going to claim that and then it said what's better than solid metals that's right molten liquid metal so it's asking us to craft a smeltery so let's just have a little look at that and see what that entails okay so there's the smeltery and we need some seared bricks, a blast furnace, a tank. Um, we need a whole bunch of stuff. So let's see. A seared brick. Seared brick. Why is... Hmm. It's a little bit concerning. Hold on. not showing up ah i know why is it it is right okay ah so because this is based loosely on tinker's construct from java edition what we need to do is have four sand four gravel and a clay block and that will give us eight grout and this grout can then be cooked into the seared bricks now has this changed? I can't tell. I really can't tell. Um, let's... Press dust. No, it hasn't. <laughs> I'll probably just reset that and really dirt it up. Um, so yeah, we do need clay. Now, another way of getting clay. Obviously, we already have clay here. But if I remember, I read somewhere that pointed dripstone can be put into a millstone and then that can be ground yes there we go for a clay ball so it's quite tedious actually because four dripstone is only going to give us one clay so we need 16 dripstone per clay block um so yeah that's quite a bit and i definitely didn't have enough in there so i'm not going to worry about that too much for now because we do have this compressed clay oh i digress right Let's go back. Let's have a look at getting started. So the dripper, we've done it. Let's have a look. So next up, the cobblestone generator is a great little contraption that provides produces resources without needing any power. Plus, it's super easy to upgrade multiple times. So a basic cobblestone generator. Well, this is going to come in handy, actually, because I'm bored of punching the floor. So let's have a look. Cobblestone generator. Uh, we do need a bunch of cobblestone, some glass, and then a bucket of each of the liquids. So we can actually do that. Um, there's that. We need a piece of glass, some cobblestone. That should be it. Boom. And we get the buckets back. Amazing. Right. So I want to look at getting this set up quite soon, actually. 
Um, let's claim that. So mob souls have a, I'm assuming that's a 1 in 20 chance of dropping any time a mob dies. Okay, so we are a little bit stuck there um, until I make some sort of mob farm, which, thinking of it, I might use one of these pillars, actually, as the uh, the drop shoot for them to then die in. So I might eventually dig up there. But before I want to go nuts doing that, I definitely want to get a better pickaxe. Oh! That, to me, looks like that's changed. Now, what I can do now is if I middle click, Yes, because I had this in my inventory. So it has. It definitely is a thing. So that's a much easier way of getting clay there. Um, have I got any more dust? I do. Do you know what? I'm going to stick that under there and let that one convert as well. I feel like the clay is going to be a little bit more valuable to us right now. So. Cobblestone generator. I haven't got enough iron to set it up on a hopper yet, have I? No. So I think what I'm going to do is just pop this there and every now and again I'll come and pick it up. Um, so as it stands, getting started is stuck behind making some sort of mob farm. Okay. Exploration, I've got to do a lot of digging for. Um, so the overworld portion of stone block 3 is layered with different types of stone and is generated in a unique way. It's layered like onions. Um, here's an example of how the world generates. Um, and something I didn't point out before as well. It did show it, I think, on the starter island. But as a whole, the world generates a little bit like the end. So you know how the end will have, um, to say this torch is the end island with the dragon. And then you'll have a void around it. And then beyond the void, you have your end islands, right? So the overworld generates in a similar way. So this is our starter cave and everything around it is stone, right? Once you get far enough away, it will turn into lush caves. And then it will turn to the nether, and then the end, and then back into stone, I think, if I remember rightly. Um... So yeah, we're definitely going to need to do a whole bunch of digging at some point. Up and down to uh, check out, uh, what was it? Yeah, to check out the different stones. To get some deep slate, we are going to actually need that for other stuff. Um, otherwise, chickens, we haven't got any chickens yet. But you need to grab a stick and whack a chicken to make a chicken wand. So that one's on hold. Condensed, you could actually work on this. So craft... A double compressed gravel. Okay, so for that, we're going to need 81 um, cobble or gravel or the like. So let's quickly do some of this. Um, and then, yeah, I can hammer it down into gravel, compress it up a few times. And the good thing is as well, actually, is by doing this, because it won't take it from us, um, we can actually put this through the millstone and get ourselves some more resources because we are, in fact, going to need some more iron. Um, but I think we could also actually use the gravel and get into the tinker stuff because we've got a bunch of clay now. Um, let's see, where are we at with that? Let's remove that. Let's turn that over. Okay. What did I say? Was it something like 80? So what is it? It's nine nines, isn't it? So yeah, 81. So we're not actually far off. Right. Let's throw that in. So we do that. Oh, I'm a little bit. I'm literally one short. Oh my days. That was so that was so close. And that, and one more. That. Right, let's smash this down. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm very intrigued, actually, how far this uh, compressed quest is going to go. Okay, so compressed gravel, double compressed gravel. There's the quest. Condensed. So, did you know that you can... Oh, yeah. 
Of course I know that. We've already done it. So to craft any kind of condensed machine, you will need condensed machine walls. Okay. So what does that involve then? Condensed machine walls. And we are in fact going to need deep slates. So there's another reason to eventually dig down uh, and get that deep slate. But right now, I think we push on with a little bit of tinkers. So let's undo that. Let's undo our sand as well. If I'm right, we can now make grout yes okay and we get we get eight per craft so what did i run out of there sand I do have a little bit more in here oh actually we have quite a bit more in here that's a double compressed let's see how many more we can make okay we're, we're over a stack now i feel like that should be enough um i'm out of cobble though aren't i like to very much make just one more furnace there we go right so let's have a look at getting all of this cooked up so that can go in there with half of that and that half there we go throw them in pop that in Right, so that is cooking away as suspected. And yes, there we go. There's our seared bricks. So what else did we need for our smeltery? Okay, so the cast bricks are on the way. The tank, we do have a tank and we don't need it anymore. So actually we can use that. Um, and then a blast furnace, which I can't remember. Do we need iron for that? Oh my days, we need five iron. Do I have five iron? I don't, I've got four. Um, right, let's pull that out because we don't actually need to grind that up anymore. I think, let's see if we can't, I need one more iron. So let's throw these in. Like so. And we'll quickly get this ground up while we're waiting for the uh, the seared bricks. And then, yeah, was it one more iron we needed? I do need to cook some stone as well. So I'm going to have to do a bit more stone punching. So actually, I could, oh, no, I didn't mean to crouch and do that. My, my idea is, is that while it spins... <laughs> I quickly grind some rocks, look. <laughs> oh yes, efficiency for the win. Okay, I feel like we must be nearly there now. Can I hop, skip, jump over? Yeah, okay, right, so that's all the gravel milled up. Um, we got enough there for two more ingots, so that's enough. For what we wanted um let's throw that in there the grout can all go in the top one for now because i need to keep this one free actually for some more stone so let's get that on the go and let's remind ourselves so we need a furnace and then three smooth stone so there's our furnace and one, two, three, that can go in there. And then that will need to go in a second time to create the smooth stone. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Let's grab the tank. Let's grab the seared bricks that we've already got. And let's remind ourselves. So we need three brick blocks and then four loose ones. So one, two three okay we've got the blocks we've got that i think we're really close just need the blast furnace let's put them back in um now do you know what as close as i think i am i'm pretty sure we are going to need a casting basin and a casting table so i need more glass oh we got one more in there 
out to grab all of this. Did that turn to... That still looks like sand. So let's sort that out. We'll get some more uh, water dripping on there. Like so. We'll grab that. That's good. This is now done. We should be able to make... There it is, one blast furnace. And there, oh yes, is our smeltery. So let's pop this here for now. Oh, look at that, what a beauty. I'm loving the new model, loving it. Right, so I'm gonna hazard the guess that I do need to put some lava in there to fuel it. Um, So let's grab some of those. Uh, do we have a stone block spare? We do there. Nav you. Am I right? Of course I'm right. Always right. <laughs> Never right. Um, let's see. Let's see. Right, one casting basin. I'm trying to do a little bit of this off of memory, to be fair. Memory and assumptions. So the basin... Is there an in, a, in and outside? I don't think there is. I'm a little bit unsure. Okay, let's have a look at the book. That that would probably be the best bet, wouldn't it? It's a smelting. Now you have created a smeltery, you'd also need to need a casting basin. Ah. Oh. Like that. <laughs> okay. Melt in, claim reward, and then obtain a block of iron. So use your smeltery to obtain a bucket of molten iron, then place it in a casting basin and wait for it to cool. Also, it doesn't need to be next to it. Okay, right. So let's have a look. We've got some more gravel here. Let's throw that into these and see if we can't get enough iron sort this out now i'm very curious actually what the what the ratio is going to be like with this um i'm trying to think how uh, tinker's construct on java works i think in the initial phase if you put three nuggets it no i'm not sure <laughs> i'm trying to remember but i'm sure you get like a third for free or something along those lines. Um, let's see. Let's see. So we've got... Oh, we've got enough for two. I don't think we're going to be able to draw that out though, are we? One, two. It looks like it would take four. And would that give us a bucket? Oh, we've got a bunch in there. What a wally. Okay. Do we have a bucket? We do. Yes. So four fills it. We now have... Iron bucket, we can't place it, probably for the best, but we can put it in here, and yes, excellent. So that's just over double. Um, for four, four raw iron, we got nine ingots worth. Incredible. Um, okay, but how do we get these better tools? That's, that's what I'm working towards. So use your smeltery to obtain, yeah, we've done that. To finish your smeltery setup, you only need one more thing, the casting table, and it lets you create better tools. Okay, so let's pick that up. Then quests, smelting, flame reward. So the easiest way to cast a tool is to create a sand cast. Now, I think we do that in... Hmm... Where do we make the sand casts? Is it in here? There it is. And we get four for each. Okay, and then now do I bring that here? No. <laughs> uh, oh, no, that's right. Do we put it on here? And then let's actually check the quest book. I think we need to put like a stone piece into it. Um, so once you've smelted your ores, you need a way to move them around. This is where a copper can comes in handy. Think of it as a quarter the size of a bucket. So craft a copper can. 
Ah, so. How to make copper. Now, I do know of one way to make copper. Through investigating, we can, in fact, uh, let's see. It's not in the quests. Come out of the quests. Oh, will you stop? Right, wiki book. If we go into cogs, that's right, machines, and then in here there is an encased fan. And you can see here that it's a mechanical whiz that whips up air flows. It comes in handy for shuffling stuff around, pushing things horizontally, and tackling bulk washing and bulk blasting. You can place blue ice underneath it for washing and a magma block for blasting. Okay? And you can hook up the encased fan with other rotating parts from the top. So, if we look at this recipe, at the top is a shaft and at the bottom is a, a casing. But in the middle there, there is actually a fan. Now, if I look in here, it's not a fan, it's a propeller. There it is. And you can see that we need iron plates. Now, to get the iron plates, we need a press. There we go, a mechanical press. And for that, we need a block of diorite alloy. So, we do need to move our way over into the cogs part. Um, but what I'm going to do, I think, there is stop basically um because we've got a whole bunch of work to do before we can use this um we do also need well we're gonna need that actually for the next um what quest was it i think it was the technology wasn't it yes the harvester so we actually we kind of need to go back to the cogs for the press make the metal plates make the fan we can then wash Something's making me think it might be washing gravel um, is going to give us copper. And then we can use the copper over here to make our iron hoe, so on and so forth. Oh, basically, yes, we've I've got to do a whole bunch of off-camera grinding. Um, so I'm going to leave you to it, let you guys go. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button on the way out. It just takes a little moment, just a little click. Um, but yeah, until the next one, take care, stay cool. Bye-bye.